So one of the things that we can do to improve our users' experience when working with our Xamarin Forms applications is to find ways to keep data entry to a minimum. For example, with a lot of login forms, we require users to type in their email address. But if I leave the application and force quit the application or when I restart the app, I get a new instance of the app, it would be nice if we could remember what the user has typed in for their email. So how do we go about doing this? Well, one of the first things I'm gonna do is go and see if there's anything already existing on Nougat. And I actually do know of something out there. And it's a plugin that was built at Xamarin. And I'm gonna call Xamarin settings. And we're gonna scroll down. Here we go. Settings plugin for Xamarin and Windows by James Montemagno. And so I'm gonna add it to my PCL. And then I also need to make sure I add this package to my iOS and Android projects as well. And luckily Xamarin Studio has remembered what we've done previously. If we take a look here, we'll see that James has included this very handy settings class here. And it kind of looks a little funky, but I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste from here. I want to create a new package called utils. And I'm going to say add new file. We're just going to do an empty class called settings. Select all, delete, and then paste. And then we'll update our namespace here. And we're going to say better forms.utils. And we get this nice IntelliSense where it tells us, hey, the namespace should just be utils. And then we'll see here that we have a property called general settings. And let's change this property name to last used email. And then you'll see here the app settings, we kind of have just like your standard key pair value storage API. And we can see we have this settings key here. And this key is basically just a string that's like the unique ID of this particular thing that we are storing in the settings of our device. So I'm going to change this to last email settings key. And I want to change it to e last email key. And now all I have to do in our view model is go into the login view model and in my setter of our email address. Now, if I say settings, last used email equals value. And now whenever our view model is instantiated, we will say email address equals settings last used email. And so now if we run our application, it'll still look the same because I haven't entered anything yet. So if I type in my email address, and now if I leave the application and force quit it, when I come back, my email field should be pre-populated. And it is. So this is how you can real easily and quickly save what your users have put in previously in any sort of form field that requires repetitive entry 